All right, YouTube, Murphy Farms Training here. Someone asked me, I did a video on uh, making a custom shot bushing for the Lee Load All 2. So um, this is my three quarters of an ounce fiddle focus. This is my three quarters of an ounce custom shot bushing. It is not going to focus for me. There it goes. Three quarters of an ounce. And this is a one ounce shot bushing. And I, I filed off the word one ounce and wrote custom. And this little insert started as a 0.198 powder bushing and it slides right up into that custom bushing and you get this kind of step here okay and i said okay you do a little math and you find out how much to cut off of this and voila you have the right volume and someone asked me how on earth did you do that they wanted details so here are the details um, this is what i do for a living I, I'm, I'm a mathy person so if you're not a mathy person you're not going to like this um, but here goes. So I actually measured every shot bushing in a Lee Load All 2. So the one and a half ounce, the one and three eighths, the one and a quarter, the one and one eighth, and I'll show you this shot weight versus bushing volume. Okay, so here's my shot weight. And then I measured the radius and the height, and I came up with the volume. And so I plotted these points. So one ounce has that volume in cubic inches. A one and a quarter ounce has about a 0.35 cubic inch volume, you know. And I plotted this line in Excel, and then I did a least squares linear regression, which is a whole other topic that we don't want to get into, and I came up with an equation. Y equals 0.2803X. Okay, so where X is your shot bushing weight, and Y is your shot bushing volume, okay? And uh, today, I'm only going to work on the three quarters of an ounce, but I did a three quarters of an ounce and a five eighths of an ounce bushing. Okay, so I did three quarters and five eighths. This three quarters of an ounce bushing, so to get a three quarter ounce weight, I actually plugged three quarters into this equation, 0.2803x. I put in 0.2803 times three quarters, okay? And that's going to give me a volume of 0 0.210225 cubic inches. So that is the volume I'm shooting for. Okay, that's the volume I'm shooting for. Now, um, I'm going to start with a 0.198 powder bushing. 0.198 powder bushing. And the reason I'm going to do that is a 0.198 powder bushing um, is 0.198 cubic inches, okay? So that's 0.198 cubic inches, okay? So it's too small. It's smaller than what I need. Now, let me give you a picture, okay? So let me sit this up here, okay? What we've got is we've got our one ounce. This is our, I'm going to color this in for you, okay? This solid one is our outer ring. This is our this is our one ounce shot bushing. So we're cutting this in half and we're looking at the two sides. This is our one ounce shot bushing. So this is our one ounce shot bushing. Okay? And then this shorter guy here, I'm going to cross hatch him. This represents our 0.198 bushing shoved up inside of him. Okay? So there we go. So you see that line there. That's what we're looking for. So this is our 0 0.198 bushing there. Okay, this, this cross-hatched. Okay? And what we want to know is how tall does this bushing need to be to get this total volume correct? So there's our total volume that we need. And we're going to cut this into two sections. So this is like volume 1. And this is like volume, actually I'm going to call it volume 2. And that's volume 1. Okay? And we know that volume 1 plus volume 2 equals total volume. Okay? So far so good. And we know our total volume has to be 0 0.210225 cubic inches. Okay? Well, the volume of a cylinder, so this shape here is actually cylindrical. 
And this shape here is actually cylindrical, right? Because remember, we're looking at this guy here, right? We're looking at this guy here, and this is a 2D representation. So volume two, volume two is going to be pi r2 squared times, and we got to figure out what the height is, okay? And I don't know what it is. That's our unknown. And so what we're going to do is we're going to call this distance from here to here h, okay? So h, pi r squared h, pretty easy, okay? Volume 1 is going to be pi r1 squared. Now, since I called this h from here to here, we know this entire shot bushing, let me do, 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 do. let me get the old calipers and show you, okay? Da, 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 da. There we go. Okay, this entire, this large bushing, this that's represented in dark blue, is 0 0.990. It's 0 0.990 tall. So, and I already wrote that on there for you. So we know that this height from here to here is going to be 0 0.990 minus H. It's going to be 0 0.990 minus H. Okay, 0 0.990 minus h. Okay, and to make my life easier, I'm going to divide everything by pi. It just gets rid of that guy on those two sides and makes this number a little messier, but that's okay. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and put in my radiuses. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put in my radiuses, and I did this by simple measurement. So the radius of the 0.198 bushing is 0.252 inches. And the radius of the 1 ounce bushing was 0.3... What did I say that was? 0.301, if I recall. That sounds right. Yes, 0.301 inches okay so i'm going to put those in for these guys right so let's go ahead and do that so radius one is going to be this guy here so that's going to be 0.252 squared times 0.990 minus h okay plus and then radius two is going to be 0 0.301 squared times h and then this guy divided by pi, let me find that number for you. So if I take 0 0.210225 divided by pi, I get a little bitty number. I get 0 0.06691667. I'm going to go ahead and just round that off to a few decimal places there. That'll work for us just fine. I'm going to go ahead and square these numbers. Okay, so move this up a little bit so you can see. I'm going to go ahead and square those two numbers. So 0.252 squared is 0 0.06. So this is 0 0.063504 times 0.990 minus H plus 0 0.301 squared is 0 0.909. 0, 0.601 H point zero six six nine one six seven. Okay? Now, distribute this. What do we get? Let's see. Point zero six three five zero oh four times point nine ninety. We're going to get point zero six two eight six. Nine. We'll round that off just like we did this guy. Same place. Minus 0 0.063504H plus 0 0.090601H. Okay? Something like that. We're going to combine these two and we're going to subtract this. Okay? We're going to subtract this from both sides. Let's see what we get. So let's start with this guy here. Um, if I take this, 
and I subtract it from this. So 0 0.0669167 minus that guy, I get 0 0.0040474. And then if I take this guy and this guy, so 0 0.090601 minus 0 0.0. 63504, I get 0.027097H. And then if I divide by that on both sides, so 0 0.0040474 divided by that number, I get H equals 0.149. Inches. Okay? I get H equals 0 0.149. So, what does that mean for me? Well, if I go back to the beginning, I wanted to know, so H is this guy here. Okay? So I need to know this guy here, right? Which is going to be what? 990 minus H. Okay? So 990 minus 0.149. So 990 minus 149 gives me 841, okay? So what that means is, there's our final answer, 841, okay? So what that means is we cut our 0.198 bushing off to 0.841 inches tall. And insert it into the one ounce bushing, and that will give us a three quarters of an ounce measurement. Okay, that'll give us three quarters of an ounce. Now, those are my calculations. If you cut this bushing off slightly taller, you will actually get a slightly lower volume. So I actually cut my bushing off to 0.850. Okay, so there's my bushing, 850. So I actually made my nine thousandths longer than the math says it needs to be. And I did that to build in a little bit of a safety factor because I would rather my I would rather my payload be slightly lighter than it should be, which would give me lower pressures, than to have my payload slightly heavier than it should be and give me higher pressures. Okay, so I kind of fudged the numbers to make that uh, to make that happen. So I rounded up to uh, 0.850, and that's kind of how I cut that off. So, um, and if you measure it on a scale, it does come in a little under three quarters of an ounce with any shot size I've played with, which is number nines, number eights, number seven and a halves, and number sixes. So, and that's what I want. I want it to come in slightly low. Um, if you want it to be dead on, what I would do is start at 0.850, Trim and measure, trim and measure, trim and measure. The problem is that nobody can tell me what size shot these are designed for. I assume it's number nine shot because I get closer to the markings on the lead bushings with number nine than I do with number six. So anyway, but someone had asked me how I came up with this in my previous video. Um, and like I said, it's very, very, very mathy. So, um, but it's just the volume of two cylinders and setting the height of one of those cylinders as your variable. And then the other one as the height of the one ounce shot bushing, which is 0 0.990 minus that variable. So anyway, if you have questions, ask if you want to. I hope it helps. Um, it's an interesting concept. And like I said, it does give me a chance to load some lighter loads, which are very, very fun to shoot, especially at close targets. So thanks, guys. Like and subscribe. Appreciate your support.